Hello, students. Tonight we are going to start a very special topic on uh, solving quadratic equations. But uh, before we move on, let's consider consider something related to an equation. Let's say if we have two numbers a and b, if we said that the product of a and b equals to zero, that is a times b equals to zero, and uh, what can we say something about these two numbers, a and b, if the product of them is zero? And uh, this will be rather obvious, because uh, we can have either a equals to zero or b equals to zero. And uh, this is simply because uh, if we have one zero for one number, then the product of zero and the other numbers will always be zero, and this is this apply to the number b also. If b is zero, then the product of a times b will always be zero. And therefore, if we have an equation like this one, x minus two times x plus one equals to zero, then either the first factor x minus 2 is 0 or the second factor x plus 1 equals to 0 and therefore we can write x minus 2 equals to 0 or x plus 1 equals to 0 and therefore we will have two answers x equals to 0 or x equals to minus 1 but uh, in fact we can see that the original equation uh, on the left hand side we have a factor format and what if we expand these two factors and uh, we will have x squared plus x minus 2x minus 2 equals to 0 or we can further simplify it as x squared minus x minus 2 equals to 0 and now we have an equation like this x squared minus x minus 2 equals to 0 and uh, this equation is rather different from the linear equations we have come across in form 1 and form 2 because uh, we have a square term here the square of x and so this equation is signified by the highest power the greatest power of 2 uh, and therefore we call this a quadratic equation quadratic equation easy function and so if we are to require we are required to solve this equation this quadratic equation then we have to work our way backwards and uh, of course we have to factorize it factorize the left hand side and then uh, we have to make the other side a zero and then we can apply this rule if the product of two numbers is zero then either the first factor or the second factor will be zero and late, uh, finally we will come up with two answers usually we have two answers for a quadratic equation and uh, since we have two answers for this quadratic equation we can check whether these answers are correct by back substitute these values into the left hand side and therefore we can write left hand side equal to uh, if we have x equals to c2 we have the square of 2 minus 2 minus 2 and this will be 0 and equal to the right hand side so x equals to 2 is one of the answers one of the answer of this quadratic equation and uh, let's try the other one x equals to minus 1 we have left hand side the square of minus 1 minus minus 1 minus 2 we have uh, 1 plus 1 minus 2 and again we get the number 0 and equal to the right hand side and therefore we have two equations uh, sorry two answers for a quadratic equation and now we can 
start to solve quadratic equation like this one. And remember, this is not a factorization problem only. We have to find the answer for x. We have to find the value, the final value of x to make this equation, uh, to satisfy this equation. And then we start with our factorization first. Since uh, we have zero on the right hand side, then we can simply factorize the left hand side. We can use uh, any method we have come across in form two and form three. And uh, this is really simple for using the cross method. We have x plus two times x plus three equals to zero. We have to always factorize the left hand side or the right hand side first. Sometimes this expression can be on the right hand side of the equation. So we have uh, a times b equals to zero. Therefore, we have either a equals to zero or b equals to zero. Therefore, x equals to minus two or x equals to minus three. So we have two answers. And uh, in fact, these two answers have a different name, uh, different name in quadratic equation. We usually call this the rules the rules of a quadratic equation. And uh, actually, rules means the answer, the answer of the equation. And uh, let's look at another example. It seems that this is not a quadratic equation, x squared plus 4 equals to 4x. But uh, if we can simply rearrange the terms such that uh, there will be a zero on either side or one of the two sides of the equation. Therefore, we can do it in this way. We have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals to 0. And this 0 is very important. One of the objectives in solving a quadratic equation is to make one side of the equation to become 0. And now we can start to factorize the left-hand side. And it seems that this is a perfect square. Therefore, we have x minus 2 bracket square equals to 0. And uh, since it's a, a very special case, uh, it is a square, the square of x minus 2. Therefore, uh, it is obvious that x will be equals to 2. x is 2. And uh, alternatively, you can do this in this way. You can write x minus 2 times x minus 2 equals to 0. We have x minus 2 equals to 0, or x minus 2 equals to 0. Therefore, this answer is also 2 uh, for the final value of x. And it happens that for a perfect square, these two answers, these two rules are the same. And usually we call this a repeated rules uh, or double rules. Repeated rules. They are just the same. And again, uh, we have another example here. We have a times a minus 4 equals to 21. And uh, we can rewrite this by expanding the left hand side. We have a squared minus 4a equals to 31. And uh, remember, we have to make one side to 0. Therefore, we move the 21 to the left hand side, such that the left, uh, right hand side will become zero. And now again, we have a quadratic equation. Therefore, we factorize it. And uh, this will be a minus seven times a plus three minus four a. Therefore, using the cross method, we have a minus seven times a plus three equals to zero. We have a times b equals to zero. Therefore, Either the first one will be zero or the second one will be zero. Therefore, a equals to seven or a equals to minus three. So that's the end of our lesson in solving quadratic equations.